Welcome back to another Marvel Puzzle Quest play session with me, P.I. McLeod. Um, I'm going to do a shorter video today. Much, much shorter. <laughs> um, the aim is to play a challenge node in this Deadpool versus MPQ event. Just the challenge node for shield level 10. I want to show you a strategy that will get you through almost every single level 10 challenge node you come across. Um, obviously you're going to want to have some levels and covers on your these characters to make it happen, but let me show you how this works. There's the challenge node. And arguably it can be one of the harder challenges in this game. There's um, the ones in the simulator are top notch. And this one is pretty darn hard as well. Uh, the one for the second uh, half of this event is tied with this one as well. Um, this right here is a meta team. If you don't know already, Okoye and Thor are huge meta. And then add in Beta Ray, he's a meta character just on his own. Um, <clears throat> this team is trouble all, all throughout it. You can't let Beta Ray Bill get six blue because then it's just hard to push forward as he's constantly spamming protects and making more blue and green to hurt you and defend his allies. Meanwhile, Okoy is powering up everything they do and you can't finish off Thor first because if you even get him halfway dead, he's going to start generating free AP and hits for everyone on his team. It's rough. It's very rough. And the only way you deal with shield level 10 challenges is to what they call stun lock them. You stun the entire team and keep them that way the entire fight. Um, there might be other ways to power through these teams, but if you're like me, you've kind of come up from the ground floor. You didn't buy your way into the game, so you're going to look for more uh, homegrown solutions. This is not the team I'd be using. This is the team I used for the last note. <sighs> Let's move forward. Come here, Hawkeye. Where are you, Hawkeye? Did I pass him up already? I probably did. I do that often enough. There he is. Five-star Hawkeye, Clint Barton. Now, I'm going to take a look at him real quick to show you guys what I have him at. I did not have him at 543, not even like a month ago. Um, I used to have him at, I want to say it was 243, let me look at the numbers here. Yeah. Yeah, it was 243, because I only had two in this, because I only got two blue and two red AP for each time, and he only fortified one friendly countdown. I got lucky with the last set of pulls that he was in, and got three purples for him. Lucky, lucky. But I still got managed to pull off my challenge nodes with just a two in his purple power. His purple power is the main reason this whole strategy works. You need this purple power, you need at least one in his red, because it only costs five AP. You're not looking for the damage, we don't care about that. We're looking for the fact that he has a five a red AP move, and his purple says, at level two, gain two blue and two red when a countdown reaches zero. And at the start of the turn, fortified friendly, that's, that's kind of nice. But this whole purple thing, that getting two blue, two red, is necessary. Obviously, if you have up to three, three blue and, th and two red, you're doing even better, but at least two is necessary. I also put this support on him, Wong, Master of the Mystic Arts. Um, I got a level three, lucky enough to have that. But rank one is what we're looking for. When a supported character makes a blue match, to almost a 23% chance to get one extra blue AP. Now Hawkeye is going to be my strongest character on this team, so he's going to be one making the blue matches, therefore there's an extra chance to get more blue. Rank 2 is also highly important. When a friendly powers fire, there's a 30% chance to remove an enemy special tile. Some of these challenge matches will have enemies spamming tiles, much like Beta Ray Bill spamming protects and his, well, his countdown itself. This could have a chance of getting rid of those every time you fire one of those red arrows off. So Hawkeye is on the team. Second person going on the team. 
There he is, Coulson. Let's look at him a little more in depth. You should have him champed. Uh, I can't stress enough that having a four-star champ for this fight is nearly necessary because if they take any amount of damage, these fights at challenge node in level 10 are so harmful that a uh, level 4 can barely survive. So you're going to want him champ just for the health alone. The reason we take Coulson into this fight though Whenever an ally activates a power, create a random one turn countdown. We don't care about the damage. We're creating a random one turn countdown. Because remember what Hawkeye does? Countdown goes down, you get two free red and two free blue. As long as you have at least two levels and it's purple. You're basically creating another four AP by firing off a power. Sure, it'll take a turn to, to harvest it, but it's worth it. Highly, highly worth it. This purple is pretty nice too. When you make a match while you have six or more team up AP, spend two of it, reduce one random friendly countdown timer by two. Um, it's pretty nice because you could force countdowns to go quicker if you need to, which would force you to get more AP quicker. You can force the, the plan to action. On him, I don't have much. I didn't have too much to put on him, honestly, but this is a nice little boon. I only got one rank in it. The start of battle is a 22% chance to get five purple AP. Nice. He's the only one who's going to be using my purples, to be quite honest. Because for eight purple, which if, you, if, it, if the support kicks off, I only need three more. Um, choose two basic tiles to charge and swap. Well, a match three with a charge in there is five AP. You could basically create a red arrow real nice and simple. Um, which obviously feeds you more AP. It's also good for other things. I'll get into that later, during a match more than likely. Finally, Gamora. All three characters are important for this to work, and, and none so much as Gamora. She's the one that actually makes the stun lock work. <sighs> right here, incapacitate max it out you want all five levels in this stun the target for three turns random enemy for one turn when an enemy is stunned creates a strength blah purple attack or strike tile so in other words if you're stunning two people with it you're getting two special purple tiles out there that's highly important because the black passive states at the start of the turn if all the purples are removed all purple friend tiles are friendlies i should say then they're removed and it downs the target now, to be f quite, um, oh, I want to be real frank with this. It doesn't remove the tile. It just removes the special indicator on the tile. So if it's a purple strike tile, it removes the strike from that purple tile and leaves it blank. Okay. This actually also counts for uh, countdowns, even charge tiles. Um, I didn't think it was charge tiles for the longest time, but it happened to me a couple times recently and the purple charge tile counted as a friendly special and it removed the charge from it and still worked. Also, the ability of black itself is pretty good. Creates six strength, blah, purple attack or strike tiles. So it's another way to coat the board in your purple special tiles to enforce her passive to go off. You need this to work. Because the enemies in this fight are going to have hundreds of thousands of hit points. Just whittling them down and little by little means more chances for this giant behemoth of a team to just smack you around and, and make you sorry you even attempted it. Her support? The Milano. I'm lucky enough to have rank 3 once again. So rank three at the start of the battle, there's a 45% chance to have three black AP. That's pretty decent. So in other words, I only need six black if that kicks in to get my six purple strikes out there. More importantly, rank one, when the supported character fires a power, there's a 39 point, well, let's say 40% chance of creating another purple strike tile. How nice is that? Because if you remember, this blue only costs six. Hawkeye's arrows cost only five. Firing either one of the incapacitate blue or the Hawkeye's red arrow um, is going to create an extra countdown through Coulson, 
when any of those countdowns go off, two more red, two more purple. Um, you're going to be generating so much AP that you can't help but keep the enemy stunned as long as you, the player, are paying attention. I can't stress that enough. It's very easy to just kind of be on autopilot after a while and then you let someone get unstunned in the background and all of a sudden they smack you around some more and you lost the fight. Now this is the first run of these guys. Um, I normally don't need to do this in the first run of them, but they are level 530. They do have 100,000 plus hit points. Well, not Thor, but it's close enough. Look at Beta Ray, 124,000. Man. If you want to ensure your victory, throw some boosts on there. Put a level up a blue purple, put a red yellow. Now, I don't advise putting the rainbow on there until you really need it. If you could throw that on there, but those, see if my blue purples and my red yellows run out, you can spend um, ISO and get those back. You can get a five pack for a measly like couple hundred, no big deal. These rainbow ones cost actual HP, you know, the gold currency. I wouldn't use those until you actually really, 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 really need it. So I'm gonna leave it alone right now. I'm just gonna remove it. I shouldn't need it till like maybe the second or third run. And we're gonna beat this three times today. So let's go. I'm gonna show you how this plays out. First priority, get blues. We don't care about the enemy special tiles. Yes, we need all the purples clear for our special to work, but that's not the important part. We really, really, really need blues. So, if you notice my black passive and purple passive APs, neither of them triggered this time too. Thanks supports. Anyways, I guess I'll go up top here. We're gonna nail this one. Dang it, I was hoping he wasn't gonna take that one. It is completely feasible that I can lose this due to bad luck, by the way, and then we'd have to start all over again. I am not unknown to that. I'm gonna match these blues. Hawkeye's basically our tank right now, which he's not a good tank. But now we can start rolling. First person I'm stunning, Beta Ray Bill. I don't want to match any of these protects, either me or them, and have them generate more AP for any reason. Okay. Look at that. Extra countdown, extra strikes made. I just made three strikes. We're going to get this rolling here real shortly. I need another blue match or red match. But since I'm not seeing either of them, we're going to match this black over here. Just because I can get black and yellow at the same time. And both will be handy at some point in the fight. And he had to match my countdown. See, bad luck happens. They have no use for the black. They really have no care to use it, so I can let them have that. I think Hawkeye can survive that attack. I'm gonna grab this red, because I need to make an arrow. Look at that, so I have two countdowns out there now. <sighs> it's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna match that red, and it's gonna leave him another match for. And I don't see another way around it. Dang, that's a shame. Oh well. Let's just do it. See, Hawkeye can't take much more of this. Oh man, and now I can't re-stun him. But now I got three countdowns out there. As soon as these kick in, it'll be my game. He's got five blue, one more blue, and he can do his uh, Clash of the Worthy and cause me a world of hurt. Oof, stay alive, Gamora. 
here we go. Look at that. 14 blues on the board now. Keep you stunned again. And you know what? There's a countdown. Oh, remove that tile. Thank you very much. And I'm going to stun you too. Because it makes another countdown. Another strike. Okay. Now they're all stun locked. She will be unstunned in one turn. It means I need to make the APU to, to handle her. I do have three one turn countdowns left, so I will have the AP to handle it. But I'm going to match this team up because that'll force one of them down. There's more AP. Okay. Stun her. And now we've reached the nearly autopilot point of the game. I'm going to make a red arrow. Colson makes another one turn countdown. I have enough AP here to run this pretty autopilot like for a minute. So I'm not going to care about making many more red arrows. I mean, I could spam it right now and flood myself with AP. But what I want to do now, now that I have them all stun locked and I have over 10 blue AP and enough red to make another arrow, I my new objective is to get rid of purple tiles. Trim down the population of purple tiles because once again, this passive states, if all purple tiles are friendlies in friendly specials, then you remove them all and down the target. In other words, the less purples you have on the board, the easier it is to get that working. So we're going to match these purples right up here up top. Even though it includes a countdown, I don't care right now. We're going to do it on Beta Ray Bill, see if we can finish him. Oh, see we got one purple over there. But this is where Colson comes in. I'm going to take this purple and move it right there with that red, okay? And then I just do it. This will be my match three. I didn't put it in there to make it a three off the bat because that would make three more tiles fall and then I'd still have another move to make. I'm making so I make the least amount of matches as possible. And there it is again. It's okay though. Now I'll just stun him. Next one up is Thor. I have all purple specials out here now. Okay? I don't need much more. So I'm not going to fire another arrow because I don't want... I already have two one-turn countdowns out there. I don't need more AP than what I have right now. We don't want more tiles to drop. So I'm going to make this blue match. <laughs> I'm getting bad luck here, but it's okay. It'll eventually come to fruition. We're going to stun Okoi, which will inadvertently stun Thor too. Thor is on one turn left to stun, so I'll switch to him. I always try to kill the person that's going to come out of stun first. It'll save you from firing, well, more stuns off, hence saving your AP. I'm going to match this yellow. Yes, no purples, so bam, Thor's gone. There we go. Beautiful. And no one's out of stun yet, so I'm going to play around a little bit here. I'm going to take my best laid plans, and I'm going to get rid of some of these tiles that are laying here in the corner. I'm trimming the purple population, little by little. I have no countdowns on the board, so it means I have no AP coming in passively. So I'm going to make one red, red red arrow. I don't necessarily need it, but it's good to have a, well, a plan. I'm going to do this to carry another purple. There we go. Look at my purple population on the board now. There's only four. There was like way more than that earlier. Gamora's going to make at least one of them with that stun. There we go. Watch this. 
If we get lucky, we'll put this purple here with that green. Notice I'm trying not to make a match. I'm going to unfortunately make a match right here, but cross your fingers. We get lucky. Match that purple. Here goes the team up. Countdown went down. We'll have one purple on, the on this board. Bam. One purple strike. Gone. Watch this one. Colson's yellow makes one purple countdown. Always does. So, what we do? We cross our fingers. Right here. Dang it. <laughs> it's so close. It's okay. But now I just generated enough AP for days. Let's see. We'll just do this. She has enough to do her black. There we go. All purple specials. We're going to match this yellow. And he's gone. So you keep him stunned. You gotta get that blue AP early. You need it. You need blue AP. Secondary concern is red AP. Third concern, a tertiary concern, if you if you will, is to make sure the enemy can't just mow over you with strong attacks. Okay. So it's gonna get harder now. Now that I've explained it. I'm going to heal up and go a little quicker with it. I want to keep the same plus two plus two. I'm going to try to do it without the rainbow. This is a beautiful setup. Look at the line of four blues. Now I can just hit beta ray with that. Real nice and simple. I'm going to take these blues down here. Hopefully, Okoye doesn't match those blacks. Okay, she matched those ones. That's fine. Look at that. My stun's ready to go again. Stun her. Whole team is stunned already. Countdown's ready. It will make me a, enough AP for a red arrow next turn, but I'm not flush with AP yet. So we don't relax our guard yet. We'll take that team up. That'll force the countdown down. And now I have the blues in place so I can actually match them. Okay, Thor's awake. But it shouldn't be too much harm right now. Unless he gets a lucky streak. So I don't even mind that he matched those purple tiles. Even if they are my... my uh, my special tiles. Get them out of here. We want a small purple population in the end. Look at that. Removing tiles, adding new special tiles, more countdowns. You're controlling the fight. We're going to take these blues. We have enough to stun again, which her and Beta Ray Bill are going to wake up. Look at the amount of blue I have now. 14, 17. It's just rolling in. Stun those two. Okay. We have a couple countdowns out there, but let's make one more just to be safe. We'll put another red arrow out there. And we're going to match these purples down here because one of them includes the enemy one. Let's get it out of our board. Wong will probably take care of it eventually, but let's just make it quicker. Stun him. Another countdown. We have one, two empty purples out there on the field. So let's take care of them. We're going to move this purple over here to where that yellow is. We're going to switch it to Thor. He's got one turn left. And with enough luck, we make this match. No purples ready. Done. Bye, Thor. I mean, how much health do you have left? Over 100k? That's a shame. We gotta start the process over again. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven purples on the board. Let's 
make it a little less. We got one, two, three, four, five, six purples on the board. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll recount one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six. We will stun her so she can't cause any mischief. Then we'll throw out this black. Look at that. They're all purples now. I'm gonna switch to Bill. He's only got one turn stun left. I got plenty of blue AP and enough red for more arrows, but I don't need it. I got two one turn countdowns. So let's match this green over here. Beautiful. There goes Bill. Bye bye. I see one, two, three, four, five, six purples out there, but I don't have the black to fulfill that. So. But how much black do I need? I need three more, huh? So, let's do this match right here. Oh. Now we have seven purples. It's okay. We will match this yellow. I didn't fire it off yet, you might notice. I'm waiting for this. There we go. See, look at that. Colson put his tile on a purple. Sometimes you just gotta rely on a little luck. So, I have, how many blanks do I have? One, two, three, four, five. We're in business. There we go. Not bad, right? We'll do it one last time. I always do three time clears on every node. You know, two times on waves, one on loners, but you get the point. I make sure the little timer shows up. Let's heal them up. This will be the hardest one that I'm doing, that is. Putting the rainbow boost on there. This means I only need two blue AP to fire off the stun or one red to get an arrow out there. In other words, any. As long as it's not the worst board ever, I should get something. But I need something now because they hit like a truck. Look at a truck, look at that little 610. Look at that damage, that's per tile damage. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to deal with that, or at least not for long. <sighs> but this is what you do if you want full progression rewards. And there's a match five. How awesome is that? This is just pure luck right here. It does not work like this often. But do we take these? Yes, we do. Now, early in the game, if you get the AP like I did, and my support kicked in, gave me the extra five, and I got some extra from a Cascade because that matched five, if you run into Colson's purple early, you, you're not going to use it to trim the purple population. You need to generate AP so you can keep the stun lock going. So, what do you do? Of course, you take these take some tiles charge them swap them to make enough to keep you flowing i want that blue and i got that red on standby now i can match that if i need it now i already got all three of them stunned i don't have to suffer any any danger here um i'm gonna take the red and purple ap right here Oh, look at that. Sometimes we get lucky. It's a phrase my dad likes to say a lot, actually. <laughs> Here we go. We stun Okoy. Oh, removing tiles. Thank you, Wong. He's doing his job rather well. It's still early in the game. Only got seven blue, so we fire another red arrow off. There's more countdowns out there that'll generate me AP. We're going to go for Bill. We're going to remove these center purples, so that way we get rid of the enemy purple at the same time. We're sitting pretty now. 15 blue, 12 red. That's beautiful. So we're going to take Colson's purple. We're going to start trimming the population a bit. I'll put this one down here. I know said not to make a match with them. Well, you know what? We can get away with this, can't we? 
No, I want to do this. I'm going to make the match purposefully, only because I'll have that black over here so I can get a uh, set of five black too to run Gamora's black skill. Sometimes getting the quick strikes out there will help turn the tide real, real fast. Look at all that. We only have three purples left. They're like this. And you know what? Getting one guy dead now will save you a lot of pain later. Because that way you're stunning less often because you don't need to fire it as often. So we'll take those blacks to try to recharge Gamora up. Bye, Thor. Take the extra AP from those countdowns. We're gonna stun her. Switch to Bill, he's got the least amount of stun rounds remaining. We're gonna fire off Colson's purple, swapping these ones. I'm gonna swap these. Remember, I'm trying not to make cascades. I'm trying to clear the population, but no cascades if possible. I don't want extra purples falling from above. As cool as it is to make these countdowns, the least, the less you can make, the more you'll control the fight. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait a turn for this. But it's okay. I'll take the black right now. I need that power for Gamora. We're going to stun. This might seem crazy, but I'm gonna fire Colson's yellow. I only have one purple special on the field. One purple blank on the field, I should say. This will convert it. I could have fired Gamora's black, but I don't wanna waste it. That's a potential six black I can make. This yellow only makes one purple. I mean, I'm sorry, it's a potential six purple strikes. Whereas the yellow is only gonna make me one purple special. Let's use the yellow. I only needed one. With luck, that'll be enough, and it is. Countdowns are gonna go off. Might be a couple extra purple that fall, but that's okay. We have four purple on the field, and we still have that black available. With any luck, this is it. I'm gonna match this one right here. If you can, I'm so glad this happened. If you can match a protectile, as you see that green protect down there, that's even better to do because only two tiles are gonna fall from above instead of three. You're minimizing the amount of tiles that are gonna fall, which means a le lesser amount of purples that'll fall. <sighs> Unfortunately, you know what? I'm gonna do the, the green going upwards. We're gonna just cross our fingers that a team up doesn't fall to cascade. Here we go. And it didn't. Only two tiles fell, they weren't purple. Bye, Bill. Over 200,000 damage with one Gamora sword swipe. And there you go. That's three runs of the challenge node here for Deadpool versus MPQ on shield level 10 using the characters and supports you saw at the beginning of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them well in the comments. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, there's other ways to run this. I, I know that once worthy um, Captain America, you know, four star hammer captain <laughs> got nerfed. Some people's options went away, but I used to run that. This way is a lot more efficient. You never run out of AP once you start to control that board. Um, Hammer Captain had the problem of early AP gain was awesome, but later on, if you didn't finish the enemies in time, you had to get hit in the face again to generate more AP. Um, that's a, a rough pill to swallow. So this is a real effective way to do it. You might lose once or twice. You might have to retreat and use some health packs, but just play your cards right, manage those tiles, keep your AP flush, like 10 plus for blue, and then don't fire more arrows than what you need on the board. It, and then from that point, you're managing the purple tile population. Um, it's very helpful to have supports on too. 
not just to generate more AP, but to remove enemy specials so you don't have to hunt them down if they're blocking your purple tiles up. Okay? That's all there is to it. I know it sounds like a lot, but this game is called Puzzle Quest for a reason. So it's uh, you should have to put your thinking cap on once in a while, and um, this is probably the most thinking this game makes me do nowadays. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all next time.